I see your backstage passes, little furry dudes? Backstage passes? Listen, dude. We don't need no stinking backstage passes. This is our pond. <laughs> hey, be cool. This is the stage of the awesome Beaver Pond Rock Festival, and you need backstage passes. Maybe you didn't hear me, Sasquatch. <laughs> this our pond. Us beavers. Looky. Tails. Teeth. <laughs> now get your spooty rock festival out of here. Well, since you put it that way... <laughs> if you furry dudes want to see the show, you need tickets like everybody else. Yuski. <laughs> 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 oh, man, that was it. Lousy duper, talking pond scum. Name's LG Algae. <laughs> Boy, Norby, oh, you sure set that square up and knocked him down. Hard to believe that Mondo Squaro is your brother. Well, you know. Hey, you mind if I hang out for a while? I don't know. I'm, let me put this delicately. Your pond scum and you stink! Cut me some slack, Jack. After a while, you won't even notice. Don't make me beg for your hipness. Okay, but just for a while. Cool school is insatiable. I am Horsery Sergeant Gunter. So, you want to be Lipizzaner? You don't look like Lipizzaners to me. You look like a bunch of lollygaggers. This is what Lipizzaners look like. If you think you can handle that, let me give you one more thing to think about. To become a Lipizzaner, you will have to do the leap of the goat with a big bone tuba player on your back. Oh, what kind of dilly-dallying, silly-sallying lollygagger do we have here? I'm Norbert, a beaver, sir. You don't say. What makes you think a beaver can join my beloved Lipizzaner? Just going after my lifelong dream, sir. Okay, beaver, show us what you've got. One of you made an infinity times end of the world numbooger, etc., etc. dare. Okay. You will have to perform two beaver dares. Both will be incredibly risky. Either of you chickens out of any risk, and you'll forever be forced to wear the scarlet kick me sign of oof. Why, hello and howdy and how do you do? I've come a long way to meet both of you. The Yak in the Sack, that's my long name. I hail from Fairtown, where we all play fair games. I came when I heard Dag losing so badly. Now let's play some games, nice, safe, fair, and gladly. You're weird. There you have it. An emergency spleenectomy in just 10 minutes using only a melon baller and rubber adhesive. Next time, we'll show you how to perform a full spinal transplant from a genetically engineered pig using only pinking shears and a putty knife. Right here on the Home Surgery Channel. Hey, uh, come on, tree flower. Uh, we gotta go. Hey, uh, hey, what do you know? Free truck wax and balloons. <laughs> My favorite. I'll take the free wax, hold the balloons. And don't try that again, me buckaroo. Yeah, uh, you are like totally dental. <laughs> you are. Hey, Norby, check out my teeth. What do you think? Norbert, Daggett. Excellent dentage. You're a menace. Oh. I don't know about you guys, but I'm going to San Diego. Oh, yeah. Big Utahs. Never heard of him. Name's Harrington, man. Hey, you know, you guys are out of ho hums. So, uh, I'm gone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. You know, I always like Dag best when he and Norby are getting along. Leonard, the kids are in the club. Surprise! <laughs> Mama! Hello, Mother. So. Good to see you. Oh, let me look at my boys. Oh, handsome and suave. Thank you, Mama. Just like Perry Como. Oh. oh, that reminds me. Do you like the sweaters? <gasps> what sweaters? Well, the cardigans I spent so many hours knitting. The ones you told me to hide, remember, Norm? Uh, eh? Say, Ma. Yes? Why don't you come inside and take a load off? Ooh. Oh, oh, heavens to Betsy, what a mess! Thank you. Oh, no, ma'am.
matter? A mother's work is never done. Is your mom in here? No! Yeah. Mercy, Norbert. What's gotten into you? You're wasting your time. We proved there's no cure, so in 24 hours, we're putting every last one of those stinky toad beavers on a rocket and blasting them to the end of the universe, where we'll never have to smell them again. <gasps> That's right. We need the desert islands. 24 hours. That's all you've got. That's only... not very many days. Name's Hutton Devan. But you can call me morbidly obese. And this here is my fat farm. Now, if you look off yonder, you can see my fat fields. Soon we'll be harvesting the first crop, if you get my meaning, or if you don't know what I mean, whichever. Anyway, over there is Suxy, our butter-producing cow. The tough part is the churning of the butter while it's still inside of old Suxy. Yes, I gulled you into preparing my food, and pay attention, because here comes the funny part. You were no harder to trick than Randy. Ah! Good evening, and welcome to the big run valuable fish thingies that are worth a lot show. Today we'll be looking at the most valuable big round fish thingy that's worth a lot there is. The rare giant sticky sturgeon egg. It's worth a whole lot. The sturgeon's giant egg is the most expensive caviar in the world. Prized by rich people who eat strange things. Each one is worth a bazillion dollars. And that's a lot. Don't worry, folks. The Columbus Show will start in just a minute. Be right back. You pack of brain dead mutants. <laughs> All right, puppies. Heal. I said heal. Now look, it's very simple. Heal. Gotcha. Thought you could eat the log cabin Abraham Lincoln was born in and get away with it, huh? That's a national landmark, son. And you're gonna pay. With a little luck and things going in our favor, we'll find out something. Duck. And they're coming this way. 